Uh, so next up, our second software vendor, different market, different category, but interesting nonetheless, is Matthias from Caching. Hello. Yes, same, same, but different. Uh, okay, so my name is Matthias Planck. I come from Caching, and we are a startup uh, based in Stockholm. And um, we are trying to do an iSettle on steroids. Uh, this is pretty much how it used to look like in retail, and in some cases, especially in Germany, um, on the right hand side, you s still see this picture. We have an expensive, inefficient, clunky, obsolete hardware with pretty old software, and it costs a fortune to get upgraded. Uh, some clients don't even know what they get when they upgrade. Um, and what we're trying to do, we were inspired by Apple, um, trying to develop a cloud-based, mobile-first software running on iPad and on iPhone. And we do this highly scalable, uh, so our main focus is the enterprise clients inside retail. There are a few challenges in enterprise retail. Uh, very many that the store associates um, do not have a mobile device, they're not allowed to have their own mobile device. Um, and 83 percent of all customers believe that they know more than the store associate. More than 50 percent, 60 percent are lying on a daily basis because they don't have enough information at hand. Quite uh, interesting figures. And uh, almost 50 percent of all customers, they don't believe there is any value in going to a store associate. And for many retailers, the store associates are the biggest cost. So that is an equation that doesn't really ma uh, add up. So what we're seeing is that the role of the store is changing with uh, online and offline merging together, and therefore also the purpose of the post is changing. When I say post, I don't mean the actual card reader, I mean the actual, uh, what do you call it in English? Um, the till, yeah, correct. So, so my definition of post is, is wider than just the actual card reader. So we believe by investing in technology and um, making the shopping experience a lot better, um, we are making quite drastic figures. So what we're doing now is that we are, uh, with our agile approach, uh, we have a lightweight um, mobile point of sales running in the cloud. So what we see um, that every single retailer is asking for of course, the unified or omnichannel commerce, uh, being able to um, pick up orders in store, place an uh, order online and pick it up in store, but also doing the endless aisle, meaning that you go to the store, you want to buy something that is out of stock, and of course, you place an online order from the actual iPad or iPhone. Um, and then also, of course, uh, adding the new mobile and, and payment solutions. Uh, we have access to real-time inventory, so you don't have to lie anymore. Um, this is something that most retail chains is asking for. So what we see, uh, we track a lot of uh, key performance metrics with our cli clients, and we see a huge lift in employee satisfaction, um, less turnover of, of staff, uh, less cost for educating staff, um, and uh, these are really good figures. We see a huge lift in customer satisfaction, and mainly because there's less queuing in store. You're able to do line busting um, with the customer instead of st standing in, in, in the actual queue. And we see an increased conversion rate. We convert more customers in store of all food traffic. And we also see a huge lift in, in uh, basket size. We are able to suggest related items, like when you're shopping on Amazon, we can then suggest uh, related items for this. And you increase the basket size. You can also sell what you actually have in stock. And it's a good uh, unit economics on this. And what we have found out is that um, um, professors are saying that for every single percentage that you increase your customer satisfaction measured by NPS, you will actually increase the return on investment in your business by 5%. So this is what we are trying to do with this mobile point of sales. A few ways of doing this, uh, some examples, of course, we talked about the pick up in store and the endless aisles. Those are the simply low hanging fruits, but we can also, when we integrate to the CRM, actually look at the last uh, orders placed online. And now we're doing this in store. 
And we also see here uh, to the right, uh, the store associate will get notified when they see this customer that I'm talking to now in person actually has an unfinished online sale. And this is what we call the true unified experience where the borders between online and offline is disappearing quite a lot. Um, when it comes to payment, uh, we are agnostic. Uh, we haven't done the, the journey that Alex told you about uh, yet. So we are agnostic. We work with all leading payment service providers, including Wirecard and uh, Adyen and uh, Pambora, depending on which um, retail chain uh, we're working with. And then we can also add, um, God forbid, cash if someone is asking for it and uh, other modern ways of paying like Venmo uh, throughout the different countries. So in terms of technology, and, and uh, we pretty much put our system on top of all of the assistance system, and we can run side by side by any pose. We can do a rip and replace and take away the old clunky systems or, and just put in a mobile way of working. And in most bigger cases, uh, we run side by side, at least for the first year. And uh, we think that a lot of things will happen uh, over the next three years. Uh, one example, uh, what's next? Uh, last Monday, we launched with a big uh, furniture company, also from Sweden. And they are setting up a new city store concept with kitchen and bedroom concepts. So uh, this is something that we are super excited about. And what is interesting here, we talk about cashless. We actually do this cardless. So uh, we successfully launched one week ago and we don't even accept card. So we push all payments through Swish, which is the mobile payment um, actor in Sweden. And all, uh, we also support Klarna, uh, which is uh, a way of paying later or slice it if you, if you decide to. And they are super happy with this solution, uh, trying to be even more modern and uh, stay away from the, the clunky accessories. This works for some cases, not in all cases, of course. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. And um, we are trying to uh, take this uh, abroad. Um, IKEA has 256 stores and we will uh, launch in 20 new countries during this year. We work a lot with Apple premium resellers um, to enter new countries as well. Um, that's pretty much it for me.